Yes, guys. Good morning to all. This morning I was start my video to Bridgetown from Huntsbury Road, better known as Harmony Hall. Started from here. This is Harmony Farmer Harmony General Insurance Company, which was once Simpson Waters. It was the first site of Simpson Waters, and they first started out in 1972. Before they moved to the Warrens. Before they moved to their Warren's location in 1988. This was the Simpson Waters here. And this is all Huntsbury Road, that's referred as Harmony Hall. And this is the Rubis gas station here. And this is the Globe Cinema, the former Globe Cinema, which is now being closed. And this is the James Tudor roundabout, which is at the corner of Hinesbury Road, Hinesbury Road, Hall Street, and Halls Road. Farmer Glove Cinema here, the Glove Cinema and Theatre. And from here we can see the Weymouth Bus Depot, which is the main depot for all the Barbados Transport Board buses, which is the state-owned government blue and yellow buses. This is the head depot. So the buses where all the buses sleep. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's referred as the Weymouth. That's the headquarters for the Barbados Transport Board. Yes, but I'm now on Robert Street in Bridgetown. Robert Street, the capital city of Bridgetown, in Barbados. And this is the Weymouth Police Sports Club, in the cricket grounds here, where they have the cricket and the all other functions there as well. Yes, guys, looking back at the Robert Street, but the Globe Cinema, the former Globe Cinema. Yes, guys, I'm on Robert Street. The capital city of Bridgetown, and again, this is the Weymouth Sports Club. And this is the gas station here. I'm not sure what it's called, what's the name of it, but it was once Shell Gas Station before. Yes, guys, to the left of me is. The Barbados Transport Board Headquarters, that's referred to as Weymouth, and this is ICBL, Insurance Corporation of Barbados Limited. This is Perry Gap here. Perry Gap is where Paradox is situated. And this is Weymouth, which is the Transport Board Headquarters, where the buses sleep at the end of the night, at the end of the day. It is the main bus depot in Barbados. This is ICPL and it was once the site of the modern high school in Barbados. And it was founded by New Lynch. And here is a monument of Louis Lynch, who was the founder of Modern High School. 
Born 1916 and died in 1969. He was the principal of Modern High School, 1944 to 1969. The mayor of Bridgetown, 1962 to 1963. Member of Parliament for Bridgetown, 1961 to 1969. And founding member and president of Lions Club, 1961. He was the president of the Barbados Olympic Association, the Barbados Table Tennis Association, Barbados Mental Health Association, and the Amateur Athletic Association, and the Boxing Association. Yes, this is Louis Lynch, who was the founder of the modern high school. And it's the school where my family, my mother and aunts and uncles attended. Right on this compound here, where I see BL is now, was the modern high school. Again, another look at the Street in the capital city of Bridgetown. Another look at the bus depot again. This is the real corporate center. Weymouth Depot, it's the depot for the transport board buses. All here. And here you can see the charging port for the new electric buses. It's all Weymouth Bus Depot. Where you find the Barbados National Housing Corporation, and it leads back to White Park Road, Baxter's Road, and Passage Road, and Bank Hall as well. It's called Country Road, and you can see the National Housing Corporation from here, NHC. And this is the other half of the depot here, where you find some of the buses that have been scrapped that are no longer in use. Are still on lockdown. The country is on lockdown until further notice. Here are the back of the buses here that are being scrapped. Street in the capital city of Bridgetown in Barbados. And here you can see the Calvin Raven Church. The Calvin Raven Church. Uh, this site was also the Robert Boy School, which is on the same compound of the Calvin Raven Church. Robert Boys was a primary school. <coughs> and on the opposite side here, you can see the line of Sea Hill Supermarket. And this is the head office for the Barbados Labour Party, which is Barbados' ruling party. No, the party, the party that has been that is ruling. Barbados at present, that is their headquarters here, BLP. And 
And this is the entrance to Harrison College School, which is Barbados' old, one of Barbados' oldest secondary schools. It was established in 1733. Because Harrison College was on the site of the old Masonic Lodge by the Central Bank. It was there first and then it moved. And this is the Metropolitan School here. This is the Metropolitan School, a private secondary school formed by a man by the name of Mr. Cox. Mr. Oliver Cox. He's in his late 80s and he's still teaching and driving. And he was the organist at he was the organist at St. Cyprian's Church years ago and then he moved to Belmont Methodist Church. That's the Robert Street in the capital city of Bridgetown in Barbados. And again, we are still on lockdown. The country is on lockdown from the 3rd of February to the 17th of February. The country was, is supposed to be opening on, on Thursday. We have to wait and see. to the end of Robert Street in the city. Another look up to Robert Street again. We will find the Sugarcane Wall. I forgot to mention that one. Also see the Central Bank Towers as well, better known as the Tom Adams Financial Center. Yes, but the left turn leads back to Queen's Park, Northgate, and it leads back to Harrison's College, the other end of Harrison's College, and it leads back to the Constitution River and the Van Stand. Uh, Compton Street. This is the road right here, and the road to the left, right, leads back to Pinfall Street and the former site of the YMCA, the National Library Service, and the Central Police Station. And this is Kingsley Store here, which is an appliance store. That's it. This is Lower Robert Street now. Robert Street in the city. As I said before, the streets are going to be fairly empty because we are on lockdown and not many businesses are open. All essential businesses. And this is Glassesco, which is a hardware company. It sells lumber and so on. Lumber and other hardware supplies. Glassesco and we are crossing Pritchlow's Alley the road to the right is Pritchlow's Alley that leads that that's another access road to Pinforce Street and the farmer site of the way see and the National Library Service, the old National Library Service building and the Central Police Station. And this is the example. Here is the company that manufactures coffee, Marby, and other spices. The Gap Products Company Limited. Robert 
Robert Street here. At the other end of Robert Street. This is the Central Bank of Barbados, best referred to the Tom Adams Financial Center. says no trespassing, trespassers to be prosecuted. This is Old Masonic Lodge right here. Street by popular supermarket, popular discount. You can see there's a long line outside of popular. Shoppers are waiting to go into the popular supermarket to go shopping. This is an exchange, a place of mystery and discovery. Anglican Church in Barbados, St. Michael's Cathedral, and next door was the former site of the Harris Religious Supply, which used to sell church books and other church supply.
the end the wires are over the street. This is the lower end of Robert Street in the capital city of Bridgetown. Palmetto Square or Palmetto Street. And this is the Palmetto Mall, better known as the Vendors Mall, where the vendors play their trades. They sell mostly fruits and so on in there. Fruits. And it was opened in 1997. Monday, and the hours of business is Monday to Saturday, 7 and 8 to 6 p.m. And from here you can see the, the, the parliament buildings, best referred to as the House of Assembly, or the public buildings, and it is the oldest, par the third oldest parliament in the Western Hemisphere. Well, here's Palmetto Square. You can see the Central Bank Towers again from here, and the same tower, and the tower for the St. Michael's Cathedral. This is Chancery House, which is a lawyer firm. It was once an offshore business, but it's a lawyer firm. And here's a shop, the old city bar. And here's an alley, one of the alleys in town behind here. This is the Parliament of Barbados. And it's Barbados' is third oldest parliament. This is no high street. <laughs> and this is AP Jones, which is a pharmacy. This is no high street. From here, you can see AP Jones and company. And we can also see Carter General Store and S. Way Adam Store. All offshore businesses here, the Ch Carrollton Court and the Chancery House. These are all offshore, I mean these are all attorneys at law. And this is the side of the Parliament building. Bank of Canada, the Upper Broad Street Bank, and 
this is the base where Nelson statue once occupied before it was moved from the spot on the 16th of November 2020. And this is the taxi stand for Upper Broad Street. And this is the Cambrian House, which was once Manning's appliance store. It was Manning's Vegas and Channel, and it was Manning's appliance store. And then in 19, it was managed up until 1997. And then in 1997, and then in 1998, Total Sport moved into this building. And then in 2001, Chaffet moved into the building. This is the Royal Bank of Canada. Up above the street. They can also be referred to as Trafalgar Square. Or he was square, or National he was square. And here you can see Pierre Shepherd's store as well. Yes, guys. This is the top of Broad Street, which is by the longest street in the city. And you can see the nest, this base where Nelson statue wants occupied. You can see the senator. Yes, guys. This is the taxi stand for the above. Authority. The building is now closed due to environmental issues. That's this. It was once the inland revenue, then it was referred to the Treasury Building, and there's no Barbados Revenue Authority. Here you can see the Chamberlain Bridge, better known as the Swing Bridge. It was remodeled and refurbished in 2000 and between 2005 to 2006. And it was closed to vehicular traffic sometime in the late 90s. And you can see the Koreanish all here. But yes, again, I'm on the Swing Bridge now. I'm talking about the Swing Bridge now, the Swing Bridge. It's referred to the swing bridge because it used to swing years ago in earlier times but it now lifts since it has been remodeled it only lifts to let large vessels across this, the careenage at special times and it's now managed and operated by the Barbados Sport Authority in. and this is the cenotaph where persons can go and visit layer reefs, especially on Remembrance Day, to remember those who fought in World War I, the first World War from 1914 to 1918. It's referred to as the Senator. And this is now Hero Square, between Bridge Street and Hero Square. And this is the Elha Cardinal Buildings. This is the remembrance of those who fought in the first World War. This is the tragedy building here, and this is the fountain outside of the tragedy building. Yes, guys. This area can be referred as Upper Broad Street, Hero Square, or Trafalgar Square. Yes, again, guys. Another look at the tragedy building, at the Parliament Building, which is by This is the third oldest parliament. I mean, which is the third oldest parliament in the Western Hemisphere. This is the third oldest parliament in the Western Hemisphere. And it's exactly the best 